Hey loves, long time no talk to my old subscribers. Thank you for still being here for me. Um, to my new subscribers, um, thank you for finding, you know, content on my channel that was appealing to you and for taking the time to subscribe because we all know I've been MIA for far too long. So, um, when I started getting ready to film this video, I got emotional. I did put on some makeup and I just cut some bangs right now. But um, I know that in the other video, I said that I wanted to get, you know, completely real with you guys. And, you know, I did that, but not to the extent that I wanted to. And um, the truth about why I haven't filmed in so long is I needed to pray on it. Our family really took a hard hit and I don't want to get into the details. Maybe in the future I will, but right now I don't want to. And for that, I'm sorry. Um, but we did, we, we were hit with some harsh reality that strengthened us more than I ever thought it could. And most importantly, it strengthened my faith. Um, I've talked to you guys before about my faith and, um, sorry. <laughs> and believe it or not, it is even stronger now than it was before. I find that spending the first fruit of my morning in the word truly gets me through the day. Um, if any of you guys are familiar with the book of Job or the Bible. In the book of Job, um, Job lost everything and the devil was sure that if Job was hit with devastation that he would turn from God. And instead of doing that, Job still held on to his faith and his belief in God. And even though he lost everything, he was given it back two times fold. And so I feel like I'm in that season right now of my life where everything has been falling apart. But in the mix of it falling apart and being put through the fire, God is creating something beautiful and amazing inside of me. And I didn't want to come on YouTube and just be the old me who did nothing but showed hauls. And you know, I think deep down inside those hauls that I did, they didn't make me feel better. I was trying to deal with retail therapy thinking, oh, and I wasn't who I wanted to be. And, you know, I hope that who I've become doesn't turn you guys away. If anything, I hope to build a stronger relationship with you guys. But I have, I've prayed a lot about if YouTube is the avenue that I want to take. And God keeps telling me to go for it, go for it. And so today, um, as I was sitting up in the man cave with Michael, I, I was like, you know what? I think it's time. I think it's time to go ahead and film a video. For those of you that follow me on social media, you'll know that, um, I've been planning a massive D stash and I know that I'm going to get comments that say, oh, she's only on here to sell and blah, 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 blah. And you know what? That's okay. If that upsets you, I'm truly sorry, and I will be sure to pray for you, um, because my intent isn't to upset anybody or to make anybody upset or angry. My intent is really to build my channel and to declutter 
the stuff that I have. I mean, at the end of the day, I know I have more than I need. And, you know, I built my crafting and I'm looking at some of the stuff because I've been taking things down. Um, I clung to crafting because it made me feel good. And it was something that I built with Renee. And I remember getting so angry because he could do some of the things better than me. And as I watched and I developed, I finally was able to get better than him. But when I left him, I spent so long trying to build the pieces of my life and try to be the parent that my kids needed me to be. And somewhere along the way, I fell short in so many areas and I stopped crafting and I stopped doing YouTube videos and I just, I stopped doing a lot and then I got an amazing job and I loved it. I loved my job and, you know, because I love interacting with people and I can't tell you how much I miss interacting with all of you guys. Um, even those of you that might have something hateful to say, it was always good to have that communication. And, um, and that's, you know, that's kind of what has built me over the years is for so long I was angry. I was upset. Why, you know, why did my family fall apart? And I was ashamed. And the reality is the family I have now is amazing. And despite the devastation that we have faced, we are stronger than I could ever have imagined. And our faith is unmovable. And, you know, for those of that you that don't know, I sustained a pretty bad work accident. Um, when it initially happened, I didn't really, you know, feel the pain. Um, but for whatever reason, the pain never seems to subside. I deal with pain every day. And um, I had two full cases of sunscreen fall on my neck and back while I was doing a demo for my company at Costco. Um, unfortunately, the company has since closed and I'm still on workers' comp. Now, um, from the month of May all the way until about three weeks ago, oh I didn't daddy. see a doctor. Hold on, baby! Um, I didn't see a doctor. I didn't have any, you know, from the moment the accident happened in July of last year, um, I was never given any meds or anything. And so I really did deal with a lot of pain. It was, some days it was excruciating and, you know, some days I can cope. And so, um, luckily by God's grace, I finally got a doctor now that does have me on medication and I'm hoping and praying that it does work because the family and I are going to <coughs> excuse me, Halloween Horror Nights tomorrow night. So, um, if any of you guys are going to be at Halloween Horror Nights, message me down below. It would be nice to run into you guys. But, um, so yeah, I, um, you know, I, I sustained the accident. And then it just seemed like from that moment forward, like the good that was happening, I neglected to give grace and honor to God. And so, you know, sometimes we have to reach a breaking point. And I know that a lot of people, when the world starts crumbling around them, they start to curse God. And for some reason, 
it has brought me closer to him. And like I said, I know that might sound crazy, but it has. And I start my, my mornings in the word. And, you know, that's why I really did have to pray on starting this channel back up, being consistent with it, deciding what type of content I wanted. Um, you know, because... I am a new person. I am a different person. And I still love to do the same things. I absolutely love crafting. Don't get me wrong. But right now, with the financial restraints that we've been dealing with and being so overwhelmed with things, I have decided that I'm going to sell a large portion of my crafting supplies. Um, so I'm debating if I should do the cells on here, if I should do them on my blog, Pinterest, um, whatever. So whatever you guys recommend, please um, comment below. I will be putting the links for my channels, well, my other social medias um, in the description below. Um, and... You know, I just, I want you guys to know your worth. And I want you to know that God loves you. And not everybody sees that. And I know that I might get some backlash for this. And that's okay. I would rather the world hate me and be okay with that than to deny the my Lord and Savior and have, have the gains of the world it, it's just I've been there I've I've had more than enough and I've gone without and I've gotten to the point where I want to just downsize I want to start only having the things that I really need I mean I am an oil fanatic. I absolutely love diffusing oils in the morning. I'm still learning it, um, but that's something that I plan to have on my channel um, are different things on oils and diffusers. I also want to do hair care. Um, my hair has gotten pretty long, um, but it's not as healthy as I want it to be. And um, with all my health issues, it has really, really gotten thin and um so i'm going to be embarking on a hair care journey um as you can see i have gained a significant amount of weight and it's from the accident and not being able to work out or do anything and so i'm going to be doing a um a weight loss journey if any of you guys are interested in that um I love to clean. I am a clean freak. <laughs> and so the chaos that is going on in my craft studio right now is driving me crazy. But that's okay. <laughs> um, eventually everything will be decluttered and I will only have what I absolutely need. Um, I'm going to still be doing crafting videos. So that was another thing I wanted to touch basis with you. Just because I'm selling a lot does not mean by any means that I am giving up crafting or giving up do it yourselves because no, that could be that is absolutely the farthest from the truth. In fact, I think that once I downsize, I will actually have the mindset to want to do more crafting and actually enjoy crafting. Um, right now it's not that easy for me and I have discovered a new love for doing a happy planner. Um, I noticed that when I really plan things out, I stick to it. Um, I'm also going to be creating a, um, what is it called? A vision board. I am more of a visual person. I am, I'm going to be honest with you. I am electronically 
stupid. Like, I mean, I know that sounds crazy and you're like, well, you're downing on yourself. But no, like in all, I have a hair that's just, it's waving at you guys. Hi. No, but in all honesty, I, I have trouble turning on the TV sometimes or the Wii. Like, if it's not set where it's supposed to be, I don't know how to use it. And I know that sounds absolutely hilarious, but it's a fact. Like, I honestly don't know how to do electronic stuff. And um, so, you know, it takes a lot for me to learn stuff. Um, since the accident happened, I have a harder time retaining certain things and so I find myself struggling like I have to keep looking back and forth back and forth and so um I've been studying a lot of these stash videos lately and how people price things because you know I want to be fair and I want you guys to be able to get you know more bang for your buck um but yeah it's there's a lot of things that I have wanted to do with this channel and I want I want some of the content to stay but I also want to go a different direction with things um, I want to like I absolutely like I said I absolutely love cleaning so I want to start doing some cleaning videos but you know it's kind of hard for me to do cleaning videos because I <sighs> The kids are older right now and yeah they make messes and I love my mom to death and you know of course we all live together my mom she lost her partner in November and you know he had been in my life you're gonna hear squeaking the chair when I rock. hear it playing a beat for me no I'm just kidding um but uh in all seriousness um we lost him in November to cancer the same way I lost you know Renee's father and of course they had two different cancers Renee's dad had liver and my stepdad Roland had pancreatic cancer and so both very difficult cancers to deal with and so you know we lost them to that and um, it was it was hard it was really really hard and you know, we were planning on getting our own house. You know, when I first moved here, I moved in with my mom. This was a house I had originally purchased. And, you know, when things didn't work out with Brandon's father, I left and then I came back for a while and I lived in the back house and my mom and my brother and everybody lived in the main house. And it's crazy how God works because when my brother was accepted to college was when Renee's mom had kicked us out and it was perfect timing for us to come because the boys were leaving and we were able to move in and have our own space and everybody has their own room except for Brandon like he could have his own room like the gym but the kid sleeps everywhere and so he's just like oh you know even if you set up a room for him he never stays in one spot so he we set up a area in the man cave for him and even there he doesn't sleep so it's it's crazy but um, so everybody now has their own room I had what is now the gym as my craft studio slash office not not craft studio sorry my beauty room slash office and then I had the craft studio out where I am right now and I reorganized everything and I wanted them to have the gym instead of it being outside and so I took my whole office and beauty area apart and I redesigned it to where the craft area the beauty area and the office area are all in just one big encompassed space and you can see this behind me this is actually what divides the beauty area from
the craft studio, and then in the far corner is the office. I'm wearing an oversized shirt. Um, and so, you know, I, I was happy with that. And then we have a pool table that literally has a mattress on it. And I kind of want to move the gym up there and have this as a spare bedroom. Um, I don't know if I told any of you guys in the previous video, but um, my boyfriend has never had a kid. And when we plan to get married next year, um, even though my tubes are tied, we are going to go ahead and try to get them untied and try to have a child. Now, this is a big step for me because my youngest, Jocelyn, she's 13. And so it's going to be starting all over again. But the good thing is, my hair is like frustrating me because I'm so new to this. The good thing is I have my mom support and the three kids are on board with it. And, you know, whether it's a boy or a girl. Are you hungry? Okay, I'll feed you. I'm almost done, and then I'm going to feed you, okay? Um, I've got my niece right now, Michael's um, sister's little girl, and that's what I was going to say. She is four years old, and so they'll be about five years apart, but still not too far apart. Um, and we'll see how it goes. God willing, you know, after we get married, we'll be able to have a kid, and I plan to document the whole process um, and you know let me know if you guys are interested in that I might I'm thinking about possibly creating a vlog page once I actually get familiar with stuff I mean I might start doing vlogs from time to time on here and then once I really get better at editing and I'm comfortable with filming and all of that stuff then I will start to, um, what's it called? Then I will create a vlog channel. Um, not sure what we're going to name it yet, but yeah. And, you know, I will document the whole process of us, you know, getting the tubes reversed and, you know, trying to get pregnant and seeing how that goes. Um, and like I said, God willing, but even if he doesn't give us a child, that's okay, you know. His ways are his ways are his ways, and we're just gonna trust in that. But I have a strong feeling that he will bless us with one. And um, you know, Jossie will be going away to college in, you know, five years and Brandon's already a junior and Nathan's already graduated high school and we're going to be starting all over again. And of course, Michael's a teacher, but, um, yeah, so I know that this video is really, really long. And if you have gotten this far, thank you so much. If there's anything in particular that you guys want to know, let me know. Cause the other thing I've been thinking about doing is story time. I've had one crazy life. Um, bad boyfriends, you know, bad friends, um, I've been through a lot, let's just say that, and I thank God every day for getting me through it, and, you know, helping me to become who I've become, um, because I wouldn't be who I am today if it wasn't for all the trials that I went through. I think that my heart is softer. Um, I have a lot of compassion for people. I don't feel like anything is owed to me. And I'm just, I'm grateful for everything. The good, the bad, the ugly, the indifferent. You know, I praise him in good times and in bad times. and. It doesn't matter what I'm going through because at the end of the day, I know that he is in full control and he is in charge. And again, he is enough. Um, I know I keep looking down and it's just 
so that I can kind of collectively think about what I'm trying to say and what I want to convey to you guys. Um, sorry I got emotional there a couple times, but yeah, I will be back. Um, the There will be a lot of deep stash videos and of course I don't really know how to edit yet, but um, I will also be sure to pop in from time to time. Now, just keep in mind that I will be filming from my iPhone 7 for a while. Um, even though I have the amazing camera, I've got to figure it out. Um, I love it. It's bulky. It's heavy. I wasn't thinking when I asked Michael what kind of camera I wanted. So hopefully um, down the road, not anytime soon, um, I will be able to invest in a vlogging camera. Um, so if any of you guys have advice on a good vlogging camera, please post that below for me um, in the comments. If there's any particular videos you want to you want to see, um, do you want me to do a qu question? I said question a Q and A, where you guys ask the questions and I respond to your answers. Um, there's a lot of videos that I've been thinking of, like wanting to do. I have it written down, and I should have got that, but I'll share that another time and get your thoughts and ideas on. What you guys think if you guys want those certain things I know that I was thinking about doing um, tutorial Tuesday or tea time Tuesday where I either show you guys how to do something or I share a story um, and the same thing I like on Sundays story times um, story time Sun no yeah story time Sunday or something like that I have it written down um, Wednesday, um, wow, or womp, um, there's just, like I said, there's a lot, there's a lot that I want to bring to this channel, just know that I will never hide my faith, um, I'm also thinking about doing some faith-inspired videos sometimes, um, just some, something that might be as simple as, like, two to five minutes where I share something that I've read with you guys and how I feel about it and how it's impacted me. Um, there's just a lot of things that I'm wanting to do. And like I said, this video is long. So for those of you that are new, thank you if you've gotten this far. Um, for my oldies, if you've gotten this far, thank you as well. Um, but most importantly, I want you guys to know that I appreciate each and every one of you. I thank you for your support, your love, um, and I, I love you guys. I wouldn't have my channel if it wasn't for you guys, and I wanna get back to communicating, and remember that even if you're feeling lost and alone, remember your worth is far greater than you could ever imagine. And if you ever need somebody to talk to, don't hesitate to message me. Um, I will leave my email below, if you need to shoot me a message um, and yeah or you can message me on Facebook feel free to follow me there or on my Instagram Pinterest um, but yeah if you enjoyed this video um, please don't hesitate to like comment and subscribe uh, uh, uh. I can't even talk don't hesitate to like comment and subscribe and know that you are absolutely loved all right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye now.